What is up, YouTube? Uh, Neighbor Tech here, and this is kind of like the second video in the series where uh, I'm going to show you how to rename like fucking masses of collections of files, guys, because I know a lot of people are, have been asking about where to get the ROM collections from and stuff. I don't think I can officially like tell you that. I'm not too sure. Uh, but for the stuff that you do have, like I've I've mainly ripped a lot of GameCube games, uh, Saturn and PSX myself. So I've got like a kind of messed up name convention, which I'm going to use as an example. Uh, and I'm also going to pull something off the internet, uh, a pack, and then show you how to rename those as well, just so I can understand what kind of files you get and, and what kind of names you tend to get. So uh, as mentioned in the last video, Arcade Punks is a fucking good source, guys, for anything. If you want to find out about retro gaming, it's all here. Well, my first example, actually, is going to be... Uh, like, I've got an, a, an old collection of Amiga ROMs, which are all um, kind of not named very well. Okay, here. So what you really need to understand is, if you're using Hyper PC, um, Rocket Launcher expects ROMs to be in a certain format. So I'm going to use this as my first example. So if I open up Rocket Launcher UI. Oh, apparently I've already opened it. Oh, it's here. So uh, so the, the ones that I'm going to be renaming are Amiga CD32. So what you can do is you can check what kind of files it's expecting uh, just by C. Can you see this is my path here? So yours might be different. But if I do an audit on this... None of these files are right, guys. Like, actually, zero out of 163. Now, if you look at my list of files, you can see that everything's got underscores in it. There's fucking underscores everywhere. Um, so it's not even remotely close. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a program where you can mass fucking do all this for you guys. So it's So then there's only a few left at the end that you'll need to change, okay? Uh, and that program is called Advanced Renamer. I'm going to smash a li link for this in the description, okay? So what you want to do is you want to go to this link, advancedrenamer.com, download now. Uh, download an installer. Doesn't really matter with how you do it. You can also, and, and also guys, this program is so useful. I've used it a lot. You know, if you do find it super useful and, um, you know, it's always good to donate to people who make these programs because they literally distribute this kind of stuff for free and, and they live off donations. So um, just thought I'd mention that while I'm downloading it. So, OK, so you just install this. Uh, doesn't really matter where you install it. And then it should open. OK. Now, because I'm renaming my files on a network drive, um, these types of things tend to be a little bit fucky. Um, and as you can see, it's no stranger to taking its goddamn time. Well, that's because I've got a lot running on my PC at the moment, so... Okay, so... Now, the first thing you want to do is you want to add the directory... Um, of your ROM location. So for whatever ROM pack you've downloaded or you've got a, a section of ROMs that you need to edit, um, it's always good to, to add that location first. I'm going to be doing my GameCube ones later because um, a lot of those I've ripped. and Well, in fact, every single one of them doesn't match uh, what Hyper PC has been expecting. I've actually expanded this, but it's just because it's on a network drive, it's going to take a while. And then Amiga CD32. So now if you look at this, so this is going to generate a list of every single file that's in that folder. So I clicked add and then folder. And I've just got to wait for this to uh, analyze everything in there. Uh, now, just to go back to this. So I'm expecting all these files to be have some sort of format. So they all seem to have Europe on the end. Uh, they all have spaces. Okay, so in the, be in the best way to do this is to look for patterns. Okay, so you've got your program. I need to match this. So I'm going to look at the first one here. So I don't actually have uh, every single one here. But if you look at Alfred Chicken, for example. Now, I could actually solve a lot of problems here just by removing the underscores. So 
what we want to do is you want to add a method. Okay, so now you can remove pattern. Uh, and you know what, I'm not, so that's good for removing like brackets. So if you've got like beta versions of a ROM, it's like bracket lowercase b for beta. And you can actually remove uh, that from everything. But uh, I think looking at all every single one of these, they all seem to have CD32 underscore. So what I, the first one of the things I could do is I could actually remove the pattern. I could remove, no, replace. Replace is very useful, actually. I'm going to replace. So first of all, I'm going to replace all underscores with spaces. Now, as you can see here, it's already this. Will, if I run this batch now, it'll clean up all the underscores. So this is the output Alfred Chicken CD32. It's not quite what I'm expecting because there's no CD32 there, but um, I'm going to resolve that in the next query. Okay, so uh, the next thing I'm going to do is going to add another method, and this time I'm going to remove a pattern, and that pattern is going to be CD32. Uh, and then, and then actually, because there's a double space there, if you look, I have to remove the space as well. So I'm going to remove the CD32 space. Now, if you look at this already, Alfred Chicken's perfect. Uh, Alien Breed to Dash Tower Assault, that's now perfect. Alien Breed 3D, Amiga 32 Sports Football. Okay, so if I run this now, this is going to resolve a lot of my problems. So let's just run, let's just start this batch. So start. Now the good thing is about this, you can actually reverse it, but the best way to use this program is with intuition, guys. You've got to you've got to sort of come up with a smart ways that you can replace a big chunk of files with what you want. Um, so if I click OK to that now, so if we now open the folder that it's located to, as you can see here, every single one of the files has been re renamed. So you've got Banshee Europe, Banshee Europe. So now all these should hopefully appear in Hyper PC. Okay, for my next example, it's gonna be the GameCube Robs that I've been uh, writing over time. So these I have put in GameCube. Now the only thing about these is, a lot of these are actually the European uh, versions. But if I run Rocket Launcher, it will actually expect the USA ones. Now, it doesn't actually matter. Uh, as lo In Hyper PC, it doesn't matter as long as the file names are right. So it depends um, how OCD you actually are. Um, so if I run this now, as you can see here, so, 10, so looking at this example, 1080 Avalanche, um, I've actually added the... Um, the code for each one because I was also messing with the uh, memory card saves. I was transferring my memory card saves, and it's a lot easier to identify with GameCube what your uh, memory card save is if you just stick that on the end. Uh, but now I want all these to work with Hyper PC, so this is going to have to go. So, so as a perfect example here, um, what I could effectively do is replace all these brackets with bracket USA. And seemingly that would solve a lot of my problems. Uh, so a good way to do this is, I always feel like the replace is is a lot more effective than any of the other commands, uh, because you can actually use wildcards. So if I do bracket star bracket, it'll take off every single bracketed thing, every single bracketed text off here, and I want to replace it with USA. Uh, and I've actually put a space in the beginning of that. So if you look here now, so if I scroll down to here, for example, uh, let's say Mario Party, Mario Party 4, Mario... So can you see here, these are all almost renamed perfect. There are going to be one or two, like, for example, here. Um, I've done Capcom in, uh, like, capital letters. So it, it completely minimizes... Like, that one's definitely going to have to be renamed. But it completely minimizes the amount of like tedious work in your renaming. So I'm just going to run that batch through. Start here. 
Perfect. So, uh, and then the final example I'm going to give you is, I actually stored these in here. Just one sec. Sorry guys, the doorbell uh, went. I'm not going to complain though, because it was my double chicken wrap, which I ordered from the takeaway. Yeah, I'm having a lazy day today. Okay, so the last, the final example I'm going to show you is this uh, ROM pack which I got off the internet. Again, just to show you how to, how you can easily mass rename uh, tons of files. I'll tell you what, so while that's analysing that, uh, I'm going to go over to here and just check what N64 is expecting. So, now have you noticed about the N64s? The, um, it's actually not got the region on the end, so there's actually no regions. It's all, The one I've got all seems to be just the names of the games. Now, ROM packs tend to have like regions or some sort of beta or anything like that, so we're just going to quickly remove all that uh, trash and see if it actually opens on the Hyper PC at the end. Okay, so now that's finally loaded. Um, as you can see here, there's there's actually sometimes two sets of brackets. So you've got like USA, blah, blah, blah. So these some of these like multiple regions and stuff like that. Uh, one thing I forgot to mention before as well, guys, is um, make sure you're renaming your box art and your alt, alt and stuff in all the other folders as well, if you have any. Because HyperPC will be expecting the file names to be the same. So all your box art stuff, make sure that gets all renamed as well. So just double check that when you add your folder that it's included all the folders inside the folder. So like the folder section uh, all the way down, <coughs> so to speak. Okay, so this is definitely, go apart from the odd one or two, this is definitely going to be a remove pattern. Uh, so we're just going to add method. Remove pattern. So star... It's always good to do the space as well. Wait a sec. No, sorry. Right, so for the remove pattern, you want to put the space before it. Because as you can see... Okay, there we go. Because as you can see, the pattern we want to remove is the space USA. So it's all about... you just got to use your mind, guys. Use your brain and figure out what, what the best way to do it is. Now, it's going to leave the ones with double brackets. But to be safe, what I would do is... Just do two separate methods because... Um, that way it duplicates the method when you add a new one um, it'll just go through it individually and as you can see here remove all the brackets guys so you've just got that um, which is all the stuff that uh, it's expecting and then, and then once you've done that run it again and then you've just got a few individual ones to like amend make sure you've got okay so let's give that a try Okay guys, my PC for some reason is running like a bag of spanners, so uh, I've just cut the video there just to, straight to getting this open. I also closed some of the stuff that I had running, um, so it should be a little bit faster now. So the first ROM set that I did, well not the first one, but since, since we're all doing N64, as you can see here, these are all showing. Uh, and then the next ones I did was my GameCube ones. So these, I don't have the full collection of GameCube, like I said, it's just the ones that I've ripped. But um, you'll notice that I don't have any of the art for this. Now, I'm actually covering that in my very next video of how to get the, um, the artwork. So we can get that looking something like, uh, let's say this. So as you can see here, there's all the box art, the cart art. Yeah, so we're going to try and get it looking something like that. There's actually a tool that you can do for that, and it's much better than using um, any of the scrapers that I've used in the past. Uh, just to show you another quick example, what have I done? I think I've done the PSX now. I did that the other day. Yeah. PSX. Um, and one final one is the Sega CD. I like the way the Sega CD works because the spin, uh, the disc actually spins um, as you're scrolling through. So anyway, that's the objective for the next video. 
and that's going to be coming later this week possibly even today or tomorrow actually no it's friday night probably tomorrow all right guys fucking thanks for staying in ch to uh fucking thanks for tuning in hope you found that useful uh see you in the next video